Hey, um, I'm going to make a tutorial on uh, C++, making a C++ program. I use Visual C++ Studio. It's I like this one. Uh, it looks like this. Anyway, to make, to open a blank sheet for a C++ file, you're going to push New, Project. And then you're going to get this thing. Make sure this is on Win32. And this in Windows console application is selected. Then name your program. I'm gonna name it test to test one. And then okay. And wait a second, and then you're gonna get this box right here. And just push next and make sure empty project is selected. Finish that. And then wait a little bit. And when you're done with that, go up to the top and push Project, Add New Item. Make sure C++ file is selected and then name it. I'm going to name it the same thing as I did before, Test 1, and Add. Then you got your blank sheet for writing C++ code, so here that is. Uh, to begin the C++ program code, we're just... Uh, we're going to put number and then include uh, IO stream and I'm not sure what that does I'm I think that's just uh, includes a library because there's certain libraries that you're gonna have to include to make a code work and that would be the IO stream library get that down and then to, we're also going to be using so using namespace std and then semicol semicolon and then so then we're ready to start the code and the uh, thing you got to type in to start a code is int main uh, and then in parentheses we're going to be doing void so int main void will tell it to start the code. We're going to start the code using a curly bracket. And then at the beginning of this program, it, the program will uh, the program we're making will make just be let the user be able to type in three numbers and it's going to add those numbers together. So it's kind of like a calculator, but it's only going to be used to add three numbers. Uh, so we're gonna begin it with a variable, and the variable just a uh, variable kind of just it assigns a action to a word. So, like that's the best I can explain it. Uh, a, to start a variable, there's two types of ways to start a variable in C++ using numbers. One is int. That's a variable using only whole numbers. So, I wouldn't recommend using that one yet unless you needed the person to only enter whole numbers I I recommend using double and that is that is a variable using decimals so if you want the user to be able to get type in decimals then use double and it's just whole numbers so double starts the variable space and we're gonna assign the word for the variable so we're gonna type in D number D number one, and make sure to type this D right here because that tells tells it that it's a double and it tells it that it's the variable. So put D before your variable name, and then D number one equals zero point zero. Zero point zero just it means that the variable isn't assigned to any number yet, so it lets the user type in any number and it will assign the variable. So. 0, 0.0 and then semicolon after every pretty much after every command you give put a semicolon after it so that tells it to end that's very crucial because if you don't have that the program won't run so semicolon and then we're going to do another variable double this will be d number 2 equal 0, 0.0 semicolon and then double d number Three, that's your third number equals 0, 0.0 semicolon double and then D 
addition. So this will be the answer to the problem that your user will type in. So zero semicolon. Um, after you're done with your variables, just um, start it out with C out. And C out is, it's going to print uh, whatever you type on the screen. So it just, you know, it's like a comment or whatever. It's like an echo statement in a, a command prompt. So echo or C out in C++. So C out and then the symbols for C out is two arrows pointing outward. C out and then quotation enter three numbers. So we'll do three numbers. And then we're going to also put another command, which is end L, end line. And that's just going to end the line there. And then don't forget your semicolon. So, OK, and then we're going to do a C input, which is C input. And the sign for that is two in arrows. And C input is what your user is going to type in, what it's going to enter into your program. So C in. And what you use is going to input is D number one. So D number one, that variable, that's what you use going to input first. Then they're going to type in another one, C input D number two, semicolon. So they put the second number in and C input D number three. So that tells that the user is going to input three numbers, which they're going to be adding soon. And then uh, we're going to tell the answer to the problem. So this will give the answer to the problem. Uh, D addition, addition, and this is going to addition equals, and it's going to equal D number one plus D number two plus D number three then yep and then semicolon to end it so that tells the answer to the problem your user is going to input so D number one two and three added um, after that you're just going to type in C out which is your statement and in quotations uh, the answer to the problem is space and then in quotation and then you're gonna add uh, add D addition which will be the answer add that and then I'm gonna add an end L which is end line and then semicolon see right there end line then basically you're done so what you're gonna do is system system in quote in the parentheses and then in quotations and after you do that basically this is just gonna give a command prompt command so I'm gonna tell it to pause system because without that your, your program is gonna open and close really fast so make sure to put this and then uh, your ending curly bracket which is that means you ended your program so there's your program you're gonna go up to build build solution then it's gonna compile it and it says I have one error so this will tell you if you got any errors it says I got one error and I know what it is I forgot to put a semicolon after that so yeah make sure to put the semicolon Okay, so build solution, see if it worked this time. And it worked, so one succeeded. Okay, so go up here and then you can run your, you can run your program by pushing this little arrow thing. Then it's loading and uh, here it is. This is your program we made. It says enter three numbers. So you enter three numbers, one, I'm gonna enter one, two, and three. Enter, and then it just added all those numbers up. The answer to the problem is six. And then press any number to continue, or press any key to continue. Okay, 